What is up you guys and welcome back to my jacket collection. Hey! Woo! Listen, I'm not proud of the title, I'm not proud of the clickbait, but something's gonna bring in the views, you know? So that's 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 just how it is. Um it's gonna be a long one. Let's just jump straight into it and just a little quick disclaimer. All the trousers used in this video are from running. Um, I don't have much other clothes at the office than running basically. So trousers quite limited on that and shoes also quite limited on that. Yeah, we have got a running stone twill jacket. Lovely piece. We made this 2019, I want to say. I really like this piece. We sampled in pink and they retail at 155. I think I should know that. I should know that. Second up, we've got a weekday jacket. This nice grayish, taupeyish color. I got this from a brand deal with weekday back in 2019. It's one of those jackets that I always want to sell, and then I put it on, and I'm like, you know what, it looks pretty good, and I just don't sell it. It's pretty good. It was 60 quid, 60 pound retail. We have got one of my favorite jackets. I bought this in LA. I think I said Rose Bowl or Fairfax Market, I think it's called. Carhartt Detroit jacket, which has been obviously tie-dye painted. Um, beautiful piece, tad bit small, but amazing. And I'm lying. I got this in New York at the vintage store right opposite Flight Club. But I forgot the name of it. I paid $125, I think. It's either 125 or 100. Beautiful piece, I love the color. Next up, we've got a vintage flannel jacket from a brand called Towncraft. I bought this in a vintage store in London on Brick Lane it's called Search and Destroy. Great pieces. And I paid 60 quid for this Buffalo shirt. Now we are entering the first varsity jacket. Wow. Uh, this varsity jacket, I believe I bought in Denmark for about 45 pounds. I love the front, I love the sides and I hate the back. For me, the back is, there's just too much on it. I want the back to just be quite simple and I don't like all this stuff. But the colors are amazing and I wish it just had this and not the back. Another Varsity jacket. Um, I can't actually fit this, but I went through a phase where I just sort of bought Varsity jackets regardless of the size, just because I love the style and I thought one day I can give this to someone. This was, 45 pounds, I believe. It says Twinkle Wingers, Peyton Place. I'm not gonna put this on, so this is all you get. A running everyday work jacket. I believe this is a sample. This is my personal one. Uh, we made it in seafoam and black, and I just love this seafoam color for the summer. It's amazing, nice and boxy. Yeah, 185 pounds. Next up, got a jacket. I actually bought, when I made a video of Sanjeev, I bought this one from Mr. Porter. It's from a brand called Le Mans Saint-Michel. And I believe they make, or have been making French army wear for the last sort of 70 years or so, if not more. 1913, 100 years plus. I bought it on a sale, never really worn it. Great color, but I just haven't seen any occasion to wear it. And I believe it was 120 pounds. Here we have a green flannel shirt from Woolrich. This is very, very vintage. I paid 45 pounds for this. I just love this sort of green tartan check. Then we've got actually two running paper jackets. This is the first of our ventures into more sort of out there print and printing on denim. Really good piece. And I think the craftsmanship is great. And these were 225 pounds. My most expensive varsity jacket, I bought this in Los Angeles and it's this vintage California varsity jacket. It's got the California state on it, beautiful piece. Um, I paid, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say how much I could pay for this. I paid $800. Good job, mate. I just thought the piece was very unique. The colors are amazing. One of my favorite varsity jackets. We move, you know? Then we've got a Magella number 10 bomber jacket. It's sort of unpadded, not my favorite bomber jacket, but it's a nice sort of spring autumn jacket for 
layering or a little color pop. So not bad. This was sent to me. I believe retail was about 880 pounds, but I didn't pay for this. Paul Smith Tartan blue sun jacket. Beautiful piece, love the colors. Never wear it. 285 pounds, I think. This was also a gift and I love the colors and the style. I just haven't really worn it much recently, which is a shame because it's, it's a great, great jacket. One of my favorite varsity jackets, the Mike 94F jacket, vintage. It's got three of them on the back and I believe this was about 50 quid maybe. I don't remember where I got it. I just know that I love it and I wear it very often, probably more than I should. And it's one of my favorite pieces that, that I own. Red Saint Laurent Teddy Varsity Jacket. This was a part of a brand deal I did with Forward Man, I believe. I made a video about 25 Varsity Jacket versus 2,500 Varsity Jacket. I believe they are $2,500 in the US, but they're £1,150 in the UK. Great pre, great price, great piece. Here is the blue weekday jacket. Same cut, same fit as the other one, just in, in blue. Yeah, it fits great. I just never wear it. Here we have another blue varsity jacket. This one has weird leathery sleeves. Not my favorite piece, but I love the color. It's got A on the front, it says L sick, I think. And then it's got Mr. Porter, M Porter on the back. I paid about $30, I think, for this, maybe 40. And I think I bought it in New York, in a Flamingo store. One of my favorite jackets, the Bears Casey jacket. This one is from, I believe it's Texas. No, not Texas. Oh, nice, California. Uh, it's got all the different state running championships on it and just patches everywhere. I paid 50 pounds, I think, for this in Denmark, maybe. So I've made it from California to Denmark. I'll probably sell this soon just because there's too much stuff on it. I like my Varsity jacket a bit more simple now and it's a lot going on on the back. My second Varsity jacket ever, uh, the gym jacket. So GIVC stands for Grand Island Varsity Club, I believe. So it's got Grand Island on the back, Varsity Club on the sleeves. Don't know when I got this, don't know where I got this. I just know it's one of my first pieces. Blue bomber jackets. This is a vintage one, which we sort of tested the embroidery on. And then the new ones we made, which are new bomber jackets with a different embroidery. Don't remember the price, but I actually wear this one surprisingly a lot these days. I love the fit on it, the quality is great. And I've been starting to wear a lot more navy, which is weird. Considering the last three years, I've probably worn navy like five times. Now I wear it most days. Polo by Ralph Lauren Fireman Toggle Jacket. I paid 45 pounds for this. It's a great piece. It's like a different take on a, um, what's it called? It's a different take on like a Macintosh jacket or a Mac or a coach jacket. I've got the name for the other one. Trench coat. These are quite heavy, so it makes the jacket feel a bit un uneven, but I like it. Great blue color, yeah. Then I've got a corduroy blue blazer from Top Quality. This was in my granddad's wardrobe. So when he unfortunately passed away, um, I thought that's a nice piece and I would love to wear that every now and then in sort of memory and for different occasions. So yeah, it's great. Then I've got two Maison Kitsune sort of blazer jackets. One is black and one is blue. These were both gifted to me. Very nice of them. I haven't worn them that much. I wore this for Paris Fashion Week and this I haven't worn yet, but I believe they're about 270, 370 pounds each. One day I'll, I'll bring them out. A black Saint Laurent teddy jacket. This was from a deal I did with Flannels, I believe. They gave me store credit in exchange for social posts. And I believe this was about 1,350 pounds. Absolute stunner. I don't wear it as much as I should, but when I wear it, I feel like a million bucks. It's amazing and I love it. So I'm sitting here editing and 
it sounds a bit yeah, 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 when I say I've gotten stuff as gifts, but I'm in a very fortunate position because of you guys watching that brands do want to work with me. Um, so yeah, I don't want to come across as sort of flexing stuff that I've been doing for free because I think it's a bit weird, but I also want to be transparent in terms of all this stuff. And that's why I'm very open about me saying that they're gifts or from a social post or a deal, just because I don't want you to think that I'm out here spending all this money on jackets because I'm not. I hope you guys understand and don't think I'm an asshole and that you enjoy the rest of the video. Vintage aviator jacket. I bought this in New York at 11 foot single, I think it's called, or 10 foot single. Beautiful piece. Unfortunately, the color is sort of coming off, but it is detachable. It's got all these great patches on it and it's extremely warm. I feel like Tom Cruise and Top Gun when I wear it. My favorite leather jacket and probably one of my favorite jackets in general, in general. So this is a vintage leather biker jacket and it's got this nice sort of painting on the back. It basically means sleep produces the reason of monsters or reason produces something. Don't know about the ins and out, but I paid $250 for this and boy, have I loved this jacket and I will keep it for many, many more years. Then I've got a green leather bike jacket from Diesel. Now this one was about 450 pounds, I think. And I got this from a brand deal did with Diesel back in 2019. And I've worn it a few times since, and I think it's a really good piece, but I just always tend to wear the black one over this one. So moving into the suit covers. This is my JW Anderson combo bomber jacket is called. I bought this half price in 2016 for 350 pounds. Used to be one of my favorite jackets. I have since been bulking up and getting massive. So it's getting a bit small for me, but still a classic, it's a beautiful piece and I'll never sell it. A Sherling jacket from Helly de Mille. This is from about two or three years ago. Made in Italy, I believe, and just feels amazing. I haven't really worn as much because it's quite a hard jacket to wear color wise. Um, but whenever I do wear it, I feel like a wolf in sheep's clothing. I think that's the word. And retail on this was 1300 euros, I think, but it was a gift. Then I've got Montclair and Fragment Parker. So Montclair and Fragment had a collaboration about a year and a half ago. They had a big event and they were working with influencers to sort of promote the brand and the line and the collaboration. So they sent this to me. It's got this on the back. I believe retail on these were about 1850 pounds. So quite a lot. It's fucking massive and it's great for winter. Next up, we've got my most expensive jacket in the whole collection. This is a Burberry Sherling jacket. Often Burberry will dress people who are invited to the shows and then you do sort of social posts for it. So this jacket was, I believe on the website for about 3,500 pounds. It's a lot of money, mate. It's a lot of money. Amazing piece of craftsmanship. Feels great, looks great. Haven't wanted that much just because I'm conscious of the price, but it's amazing. It's a very, very beautiful and well-made jacket. We've got another piece from Burberry. This is from another show they did. Um, this was the first Burberry show I ever was invited to. And when they said I could keep the jacket and pick it myself, I was very surprised. It was the first time a brand sort of hit me up of that luxury and I was just very flattered. So this jacket, I haven't worn this for a very long time. It is super boxy, kind of like a very out there piece, but still a classic. Then we have got my first ever very expensive jacket um, and first ever sort of luxury piece I spent money on. So this is the JW Anderson oversized shawl collar coat. I bought this in 2015. Amazing piece. I very rarely wear it these days just because it's super out there. But whenever I do wear it, I feel like a pimp. Low key, 
feel like a pimp. It's an absolute classic in my wardrobe. It's a piece that I cherish a lot and really, really love. And I paid 1,160 pounds for it, I believe. I'm very happy about it. I'll never sell it. Another very expensive jacket. This one is from Saint Laurent. Cow print jacket, cow print bomber jacket. The fit on this is great. I really like this piece. It's very out there, but it's an yeah, it's a statement piece basically. I bought this on Mr. Porter for 800 pounds, I believe. It was reduced from about 4,000. So got a got a good steal on it. I guess no one else wanted it. So took a chance on it and. I think it's amazing. I have worn it twice, I think, but whenever I do wear it, you get some nice looks. That's basically my jacket collection. I do have more jackets somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where they are actually, but I know I'm missing like a shooting jacket, black opening ceremony varsity jacket. They're somewhere, but uh, yeah, that's basically the jacket collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite jacket is or which one you like the most. I think my personal favorite is probably the leather jacket with the print on it, just because it's aged very nicely. I feel good in it. Or one of the JW Anderson pieces probably for the sort of nostalgia and history it, it means to me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys I'll see you guys whenever. Mwah.